I'm Adobe Certified Instructor Jeff Witchell, and this is Adobe InDesign Quick Tips. Today's tip is for InDesign and it's titled Panels Open to Drag and Drop. There's lots of drag and drop simplicity in InDesign and if you've been reading my tips for a while you know I'm a huge drag and drop fan. Just a few quick drag and drop tips. You can drag and drop from a panel to an object. In this case from the swatches panel to the fill of an unselected object to change its color. I could also drag and drop from the color panel for instance to the stroke of an object and you can see the icon changes a little bit. I see a little segment next to the pointer and if I let go it's going to add a stroke. Okay I can also drag and drop between panels. If I click and drag on the fill in the color panel, I can drag it up to the swatches panel to create a new swatch. Kind of cool. Okay, but what can I do if I'd like to drag and drop within the same panel group? Like for instance, let's say I wanted this color to be added as a stop in the gradient panel. Well, they're in the same group. How can I get it there? Well, if I click and drag on this fill and hover over the tab for the gradient panel, then I can add it as a stop in the gradient panel. Very cool. But let's take it even a step further. I'm just going to hit Command Z, Control Z on a PC to undo this. And I'm going to close down my panels. I'm going to go to icon view. Well, let's take it even further than that. I'm going to drag it so I only have icons. Now, in this particular view, if I'm in the swatches panel, that's the only panel that's open. Now, can I possibly click and drag this particular swatch and make it a stop in a gradient? if only one panel can be open at a time. Well, let me try it. I'm going to hover over the top of the icon for the gradient panel and then just drag it down and add it as a stop. And there you have it. And then I could also take it and drag it and drop it onto the swatches panel to add that as a gradient swatch. So that's about it for this time. Stay tuned for more tips from Adobe InDesign Quick Tips.